Hello, I'm Ronnie and today I'm going to teach you how to play that pattern. So basically what's going on is my feet are doing a paradiddle, which is right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. You're just repeating that over and over again. And my hands are basically just doing a single stroke roll which is just right, left, right, left, right, left. I'm just moving it, in a, moving it around the drum kit in a certain way. So I'll quickly show you how I'm moving it around the drum kit, and then I'll teach you the best way to learn it. So there's two parts to this. The first part is you're going round, the tom's going this way, and basically you're doing two on each drum, leading with your right hand. Then when you get to this drum, you're playing three on this drum. And you're playing three because you wanna switch your leading hand to your left hand. And if you only play two on that drum, then you, you won't be able to lead with your left going that way. You'll, you want to lead with your right, which doesn't feel natural because you find your left hand gets in the way. So you do three on this drum, going right, left, right, which then allows you to lead with your left hand going to the left. So right, left, right, and then you go around here, leading back with your left. Two on each drum, apart from the end drum where you play three. So when we get back to this drum here, which is the snare drum, we're now leading with our left hand because we've gone around this way. But now we want to lead with our right hand. So we do the same thing again. You play three on this drum, left, right, left, which then allows you to lead with your right hand when you're going up to this tom. Now, that was part one of the pattern, which I'll play it again, is this. But what I would do is I would practice each one individually. So I'd get used to doing this first. Then once you're used to that, I would then practice the next part, which is this. So we would only play it once when we're playing it together with the whole thing. But in this case, we want to loop it lots of times to get used to playing it. Now it's similar to this. Basically on the end drum, you're playing three because you want to swap your lead hand. But on the other drums, you're playing two. So we're going right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. So I'll play it again. Which then allows you to do it again, lead it with your right hand. Now, like I said with the other pattern, you wanna make sure you got this one up to speed as well. So the next part is putting them together. So you gotta do one and then the other. How I would practice it is with a click.
I'd practice that for five minutes every day with a click and then gradually you'll feel like oh that was easy let's try and speed it up if you're finding it too fast then make sure you slow it down because you don't want it to sound sloppy and not good you want it always to be nice and in time with the click now we know how to play this part and now we also know what's going on with our feet the next thing is to put them both together now what i would do is i, I wouldn't try and play it straight away all together because that would be quite a lot to take in in your brain so what i would do is i would do the paradiddle on the feet and then the single stroke roll just on the snare drum so you're getting used to the pattern playing it together so i'll show you what's going on here parodied on the feet a quick tip on how to get this down quicker is your right hand always seems to land on the doubles on the paradiddle. So the paradiddle will go right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. So you've got a double on your right foot and a double on your left foot. Now, if you watch my right hand, for this case, I'll accent it so it's more obvious. You'll notice that it always will land on my right hand. And that's a good way to remember it. So it's a good way to link it up in your brain so you know that whenever there's a double on your feet, it's always going to be your right hand also going one, two, one, two. So I would then practice that with a click. Okay, so make sure you've got that first. And again, it's the same sort of principle. Practice for five minutes every day and then gradually speed it up over time. So let's move on to the next part. And the next part, there, there is really no easy way to get your head around it. You just have to make sure that you are really comfortable with both the paradiddle on your feet and playing with the single stroke roll then also you have to make sure you're really comfortable with doing the pattern on your hands because it's just going to be a trial and error until you can get it right what i would do next is actually make sure that i can do one of the patterns so instead of doing the one that i was doing where you're doing four drums and then three drums i would actually make sure you can do the paradiddle with just the four drums to start with So now once you've done that, you then want to try it with the three drums. The next step is then just trying to do one and then the other really with the paradiddle on the feet. You've got to try and do the four drums and then the three drums one after another and then just repeat that so go four drums three drums four drums three drums repeat it and there you have it so that's the whole pattern I'll make sure that you, if you're struggling with any part, then go back a few steps 
and look at the bits that you're struggling with and just practice that with a click until you've got it. I'd say it's good feel for practice and maybe not such a good feel to put in a song, but it's great to practice the paradiddle on your feet and singles moving around the kit on your hand. So good luck with it and thanks for watching.